for almost 3 US dollars you can get this module with LCD screen. And what is it? It's a dual USB 18650 battery charger PCB power module that gives 5 volts with 1 ampere port and 2.1 ampere second port mobile power bank accessories for phone DIY kit. I ordered it from online and of course I got it. Uh, no bubbles. Sorry. But it's good that it's packaged in one zip bag plus additional bag. What do you think guys? Please comment below about the quality of this printed circuit board which is power bank board so you can make your own, own power bank DIY project and I think that everything is in place and good built. Ok, let me tell you some specifications about this power bank LCD module board that give 1 ampere and 2.1 ampere through these USB ports. Ok, so you can see on my phone that have positive and negative terminals where you can solder the lithium battery. Also have a one 5mm LED that is a flashlight that can be triggered through this push switch also is the power switch for the, the whole board. Two USB ports and one micro USB port for charging and it says that it's charging with one ampere. Let's connect a lithium battery now and see how it works. I have soldered positive and negative wires from the module to the lithium battery rechargeable battery 3.7 volts and before I show you how it works this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. The leader in affordable high quality printed circuit boards is JLC PCB. Whether you need prototypes or mass production JLC PCB delivers from just two dollars with fast reliable global shipping. They offer advanced features including multi-layer boards and assembly service. New customer can claim up to $70 in coupons. The easiest way to bring your electronic project to life just visit jlcpcb.com today and see why makers and professionals worldwide trust them for speed, quality and unbeatable prices. Back to the project now. Alright, so I told you that have one LED flashlight with one push button and two USB outputs and when you press long the module will turn it on and take a look with beautiful blue backlight and right now it says the battery is full 47% here it says out how to trigger the LED with double push take a look and also with double push you will turn off also on this push push button when you hold it the module will turn on turn off and while it's turn it off with, with double push you can trigger the flashlight or turn it off beautiful let's try now to charge this thing to charge the battery and see how much current is pulling and of course I'm using my USB meter or USB doctor and yes we have a sign that blinking in that meaning charging and with how much current is charging the battery let's see with 940 milliampers as I said this is 
charging with one ampere. That is good. If you use only one cell, that is bad. But you need to use more than one, two, three or four in parallel. So you will get more capacity and not damage the, the battery. All right. Now I'm going to test the ampers. Here I have my DIY homemade USB tester that is pulling around 1.5 amperes. I have hook up 3 10 ohm resistor, resistors with switches and when one is turned on it's pulling 500, 1000 and 1500 milliamperes. I will hook up on my USB meter so we can monitor the voltage. I'm going to test first the 1 ampere USB output and take a look. 4.85 volts is pulling 900 milliamperes. Alright, that is almost perfect. Now I'm going to hook up on port number 2 which is giving 2 amperes. 4.9 volts, 96, 900 milliamperes, and I'm gonna turn on the third resistor, 1.39, almost 1.4 amperes, and the resistors are getting hot. The voltage little bit dropped to 4.94, but it, that is nothing, it's working fine. Beautiful. And also on the screen it shows in which port you have plug, plug in the device. That is beautiful. I didn't see that. It says 5 volts 2.1 ampere on the screen. Just turn off this one and plug. Yes. Now it says 5 volts 1 ampere USB port. That is beautiful. The battery is 47% and need to be charged. All right. So using this power bank module you can make very easy your own power portable power station. And it's cheap module. You can get it for around 3 US dollars. Okay. That was all for today video. Please give a like share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!